Four years ago, I tried eating all 33 cheesecakes on the Cheesecake Factory menu in one sitting. I failed miserably. Now I'm back four years later to take on this insane challenge in a more reasonable time frame, 24 hours. The average cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory clocks in at just over 1,200 calories. That means that to successfully take down every cheesecake, I'll have to consume 41,000 plus calories of just cheesecake. That's a lot of cheesecake. I really don't like cheesecake right now. After spending $400 on the cheesecakes, it was time to get the first meal started. Everyone, I'm hungry for some cheesecake and I'm ready to get this challenge officially started. Without further ado, let's make some bad decisions. Before I get started, I gotta pour myself a little beverage, some fat-free milk. It's gonna cancel out all these calories. <laughs> the challenge begins in three, two, and one. Since I was already on a roll with the fat-free milk, I wanted to start with one of the more healthier cheesecakes. So I went after the banana one first. First cheesecake is down. No idea what this is, but it looks tasty. The salted caramel cheesecake tasted amazing. So far, the challenge was off to a great start. Whew, that cheesecake was amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this one next just because it looks like it's like a raspberry cheesecake and raspberry is like, uh, no thank you. Obviously, I wasn't a big fan of this flavor. EWW moment. Ooh. Now it's time for the red velvet. The red velvet cheesecake is one of my favorite flavors. In my opinion, the cream cheese frosting is the best part. That deliciousness is down. I decided to try a flavor I've never had before next. I think I'm gonna try this one next. I have no idea which one this is. This one looks spectacular. W, oh, W. Mm. This cheesecake had caramel, peanut butter, butterfingers, and Reese's cups. So obviously, I enjoyed every bite of it. Just so you all know, I have no idea what I've gotten myself into. The next 24 hours is going to be very cheesecakey. Pineapple? After this flavor, it was time to go after the flavor I was least looking forward to. Pretty sure this is something with lemon in it. If you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of lemon in desserts. It was just as horrible as I thought it would be. Oh. The whipped cream came in clutch, and I was able to use it to buffer the extreme tanginess of the mango key lime cheesecake. All right, now I gotta get to the original cheesecake right here. I think this is just, this actually might be the low carb cheesecake. Cheesecake. This cheesecake was too low calorie, so I made up for it with the next one. This looks like a lot of peanut buttery deliciousness, but you know what? Let's just take this up a few notches with some more whipped cream and some delicious Hershey syrup. I will 100% be regretting this tomorrow. But hey, since I'm about to obliterate my body with cheesecake, why not obliterate it with cheesecake and chocolate? After making quick work of this delicious cheesecake, meal number one was officially complete, which put the total cheesecake count at 10. Looks like that took us just over 23 minutes. All I gotta say, everyone, is that that cheesecake hit the spot. Believe it or not, I'm actually feeling pretty good. That feeling was very short-lived. Only an hour after meal one, all the cheesecake hit me like a freight train. I expected to feel pretty terrible early on in this challenge, but I had only a third of the cheesecakes down and I was already struggling from the dairy overload. I decided to head to the grocery store and buy some lactate with the hope that it would get me through the rest of the cheesecake. The next morning, I had my answer. So I decided to use something a little stronger. With the rest of the day ahead of me, all I could do was hope that my digestive system was gonna hold up. Instead of diving straight into meal number two, I decided to wait a few hours. A little after noon, it was time for meal two to begin. I chose the strawberry cheesecake, the celebration cheesecake, the caramel apple cheesecake, the chocolate tuxedo cheesecake, the Godiva cheesecake, the chocolate mousse cheesecake, and finally, the vanilla cheesecake. All right, everybody, here we are. I am about 16 and a half hours in to this challenge. Last night was pretty rough, but it's been about 16 hours since my last meal. So I'm ready to do as much damage as possible in the final hours of this challenge. Just gotta go after this one first. Oh, looks like some sort of caramel thing. Three, two, one. Mm. The fact that this caramel apple cheesecake literally tasted like a caramel apple blew my mind. Caramel apple is down. That was amazing. I decided to go after the vanilla cheesecake next. And let's just say I wasn't a fan, but I would have taken this vanilla cheesecake any day over the flavor I decided to go after next. This just looks very lemony. As you can probably expect, I wasn't a very big fan of this flavor. Mm. Oh. 
Eat it, eat it, eat it. I legit do not know how people actually enjoy eating lime or lemon cheesecakes. What's your least favorite cheesecake? Comment down below. Obviously, you know mine. After a few minutes of suffering, the richness of the cheesecake hit me. Whew. Well, the cheesecake is just, this is rich. Whew. I love chocolate. The slight bitterness of the chocolate mousse cheesecake was much needed because the cheesecake I went after next is not only one of the biggest, but is also one of the richest cheesecakes on the menu. All right, now it's time for the celebration cheesecake. The celebration cheesecake is one of the biggest cheesecakes on the Cheesecake Factory menu. <laughs> Needless to say, the Celebration Cheesecake is one of my favorites. The layers of vanilla birthday cake combined with cheesecake with the cream cheese frosting topping makes this, in my opinion, one of the best flavors on the menu. Ooh. And also one of the richest flavors. All right, um, moving on to this cheesecake right here. Try this out, see what this is. At first, I was very unsure about this cheesecake flavor. To me, it just tasted like chocolate. After taking this down, I decided to go after Cheesecake Factory's most popular flavor next. Now it's time for me to get to my second favorite cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory. The wonderful, the glorious, the delicious strawberry. I'm saving my favorite slice for later on in the challenge. W, oh, get me a moment. I did my best to enjoy every spoonful of this cheesecake, mainly because I wasn't quite sure how I would like the next cheesecake, which is the most interactive cheesecake on the Cheesecake Factory menu. Unfortunately, it didn't really taste that special to me. Thankfully, I always come prepared to the party. And after making some much needed adjustments, I worked my way through the Godiva cheesecake. And a few minutes later, meal number two was officially complete. The total cheesecake count was at 18. I just reached the 17 hour mark, which means I have seven hours to get the rest of the cheesecakes down. This might get a little rough. With over half the cheesecakes down and only a few hours left, I knew this challenge was gonna come down to the wire. The flavor fatigue at this point was unreal. So I decided to head to the Golden Arches for some very important items. After 20 billion calories of cheesecake, McDonald's Diet Coke just hits different. And here we have it. The secret weapon, salty deliciousness. McDonald's French fries also hit different. A little while later, it was time to begin meal three, which had some of the richest cheesecakes of this entire challenge. All right, everybody, well, here we are. Welcome to my living room. Felt like this would be a nice change of scenery. I'm 20 hours and 52 minutes in to the challenge. <sighs> I'm trying so hard not to hate cheesecake right now. This is meal number three. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the tiramisu cheesecake. I'm not a big tiramisu fan, but this flavor surprised me. Not bad. But after a few bites of this cheesecake, I was already in need of some salt. Oh man. Don't think I forgot about my fries. Exercise, I thought you meant extra fries. After saying that joke for the 8,000th time, I went after one of the highest calorie Cheesecake Factory cheesecakes next. So now it's time for the Hershey's cheesecake. With over 115 grams of sugar, this cheesecake tasted like an explosion of Hershey's chocolate. It was almost too much at first, but I used the bitterness from my decaf coffee to get through this cheesecake. Get this coconut cheesecake now. My goodness. My entire stomach feels like a cheesecake right now. Mm. I don't know about this one. Whatever. I had now returned to the point of extreme sugar fatigue. If you've never heard of this term before, it's basically when everything tastes like sugar. Even with my fries and my decaf coffee, this was getting very rough. Ooh. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get into this s'mores cheesecake right here. I'm 100% gonna regret saying this statement, but if this video gets 50,000 likes, I will attempt to eat every item on the Cheesecake Factory menu. Just in case you didn't know, there's over 250 items on the Cheesecake Factory menu. I have no idea how I'd even be able to do something like that, but I can try to figure out a way. So like the video if you wanna see it. And while you're giving the video a like, be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more food challenges. Let's give this some more. The fact that I could actually taste this cheesecake was the most surprising part. <sighs> but after a few more spoonfuls of this cheesecake, that sugar fatigue hit me yet again. Oh. 
even though I was thoroughly over cheesecake at this point. The cheesecake I was most curious about on the entire menu was up next. Now everybody, we've gotten to the cheesecake I've been looking forward to the most in this entire meal. This is the Cinnabon Cinnaswirl cheesecake. Y'all know how much I love cinnamon rolls. Let's see if this even tastes like cinnamon roll. Needless to say, the Cinnabon cheesecake tasted exactly how I thought it would. But I was completely over it within the first few bites. But thankfully I was able to push through and meal three was complete, putting the total cheesecake count at 23. I only have 10 cheesecakes left. I'm really gonna have to make something happen if I'm gonna be able to complete this challenge in under 24 hours. I thought the flavor fatigue from earlier was bad, but it was nothing compared to what I was experiencing at this point. But with only 10 cheesecakes left, the end was in sight. But the last thing I wanted to do was eat another cheesecake. My stomach capacity was also incredibly limited. So I knew I needed to think of a strategy before heading into the next meal. I snacked on some barbecue Doritos for a few minutes and I finally had an idea. Desperate times call for desperate measures. With my limited stomach space at this point, the only real shot I had at completing this challenge involved me taking a few cheesecakes, along with some almond milk, along with another cheesecake, blending all of them up and creating some cheesecake shakes. With only a few minutes left, this was gonna get very intense. The cheesecake baby is real right now. Whoa. I literally have like 12 minutes left in this entire challenge. Anyways, everyone, I just need to get into this. This is meal number four. Let's start with this one right here. I have no idea what this one is. Within the first few seconds of this meal, I realized the shakes were a thousand times more dense than I thought they would be. That cheesecake is down. The hardest part of this is gonna be the shakes. Oh, which tastes absolutely amazing, by the way. I'm being slightly sarcastic. I just gotta do this one. Key lime. Oh, goodness, I've been dreading this the entire challenge. At this point, I just wanted to throw in the towel. Oh, I really don't like cheesecake right now. But using the tanginess of the cheesecake, I was able to get through it along with the first shake. First shake is down. You know what? Gotta get to this low carb cheesecake. Got some fruit on top, some, or whatever this is. I dedicate this cheesecake to all of you out there on low carb diets. This one's for you. Everybody, I saved my favorite cheesecake for this last meal the Oreo Extreme Cheesecake. But unfortunately, after a few bites of the cheesecake, the 24 hour time limit was up. Everybody, we have reached 24 hour mark. Which means that I have failed to take down all the cheesecakes from the Cheesecake Factory in 24 hours. Oh, man, I feel terrible. I tried to do everything I could to get back to the cheesecakes. Oh, my stomach feels like it's in another dimension right now. But all I could do was reach for the shake. I wanna to try to get down as much as possible. And I feel like if I eat another bite of cheesecake, I'm just gonna I would have loved to have elaborated more on how I was feeling, but after my recent entire menu challenge at Sonic, it seems that YouTube doesn't like when I show or reference things that involve nausea. So I'll let you use your imagination on this one. Thankfully, I can drink cheesecake. After finishing off this shake, I had one of the biggest food babies of my life. <sighs> oh. Men's health, if you ever need a cover model, be sure to hit me up. <laughs> now that is a serious cheesecake baby. Right now, there is no way I'm gonna be eating the rest of this cheesecake. <sighs> The total cheesecake count stood at 29.5. With only three and a half cheesecakes left, I couldn't believe I failed this challenge. Even though I felt like I was sweating cheesecake, I decided to come back a few hours later and try to get the rest of the cheesecake down before midnight. Just so you all know, it hasn't gotten any prettier. Oh. It's now 11.56. With the massive food baby that I had, I couldn't believe I was putting another bite of cheesecake in my mouth. But all I could do at this point was give it everything that I had. After finishing the last few bites of the Oreo cheesecake, I threw in the towel. 
I'm done. At the end of the day, the total cheesecake count stood at 30. Upset over the fact that I felt like this challenge was a complete fail, I woke up the next morning and wanted to try my absolute hardest to finish the rest of the cheesecakes. But as soon as I pulled them out of the fridge, my mind immediately went to that mango key lime cheesecake. So for my own sake, I decided against it. But as I carried on with the rest of my day, I remembered my goal from the very beginning of this challenge, which was to take down every cheesecake on the Cheesecake Factory menu. So a few hours later, I made my way back to the dinner table. Just the thought of this cheesecake entering my body is just absolutely repulsive to me right now. I just have to say everyone, it's going to be a very, very, very long time before I eat cheesecake again. But I'm here and I promised all of you that I'd be taking down every single cheesecake and I gotta deliver on that promise. Here we go, the classic. All I had left was the original cheesecake, the Snickers cheesecake, and the caramel pecan cheesecake. I think this is a Snickers cheesecake. Even though I'm a huge Snickers fan, the last thing that I wanted at this point was more cheesecake. I just gotta say, if you're all still with the flow of the video, there's no cheesecake emoji, so just drop a cake emoji down below in the comments. And as I got into the caramel pecan cheesecake, I was finally able to push through and make it to the end of the challenge. Or so I thought. The total cheesecake count stood at 33. That has been every cheesecake on the Cheesecake Factory menu. But not really though. While filming this challenge, it came to my attention that I'm actually missing a cheesecake. Now it's currently the month of February, which means that one of their seasonal cheesecakes is not on the menu. And I know that when people watch this challenge in other months, that seasonal cheesecake will be on the menu. That cheesecake is the pumpkin cheesecake. Unfortunately, since it is January, it is very hard. Excuse me. It's very hard to get your hands on a pumpkin cheesecake. Thankfully, I found one in the store. It just happens to be a vegan cheesecake. And I dedicate this dairy-free pumpkin cheesecake to all the vegans out there. Even though I felt like the world's biggest idiot for how much cheesecake I had just consumed, I spent the next few minutes eating this cheesecake, and just like that, the challenge was officially complete. The total calorie count was 41,615. After nine years of food challenges, this was one of my most difficult food challenges. It was almost as difficult as my last as many calories as possible challenge. If you missed that, I'll go ahead and put it on your screen for you to enjoy next. Subscribe for more food challenges, and I'll see you all in the next food challenge. Bye, everybody.